All right, thanks, Taylor and Amy. The system uh, has, we've just gotten the latest report on it, and it has top winds still of 120 miles per hour. Uh, this is where it's located. It was over the west coast of uh, Cuba earlier this morning. Now it's in the southeastern Gulf of Mexico over very warm water. I was just looking at some of the sea surface temperatures. They're around 86, 87 degrees, so very warm water to support continued growth of the system, both in size and in intensity, and it's forecast to become a cap four by early tomorrow morning with 130 mile an hour winds. 2 p.m. Wednesday, it should be just offshore in this track has not changed much. It looks like the uh, better chance of a, of a landfall would be just south of Tampa and some weakening would take place as well going into early Thursday. Of course, after it's on land, once again, we expect it to be a slow process. Uh, once we get into the day on Thursday into early Friday, it's not going to move very much and so it will weaken, but it will also continue to draw moisture and some stronger winds within the rain bands northward to include the Carolina. Carolinas. Tropical storm watches are in effect along the lower South Carolina coast into southeast Georgia, and the track has the remnant area of low pressure in our area by uh, Saturday afternoon. Not much as far as wind is concerned, but we certainly expect a good chance of rain with that Friday night into early Saturday. Here's the system on radar, very clear eye. Uh, thunderstorms trying to wrap around the eye has not done so, so it's a uh, kind of fits with the Hurricane Center not increasing the wind speed, but you can see the rain that's been covering South Florida over the last several hours and a lot more on the way for them. Spaghetti models, of course, very confident as we uh, see a landfall getting into tomorrow evening. After that point, it might have a chance to venture over the water or it might stay on land over North Florida, South Georgia. From that point, the system will be drawn northward and of course crazy conditions here showing up in the models just because there's not going to be much left from that. And here's what it may look like over the next few days. Rainy weather, windy weather, storm surge, very dangerous storm surge in Florida. Uh, this front is going to influence the system as well. And then as that's drawn northward, of course, we're going to see rain increasing here by Friday evening.